Pokemon as a whole is an incredibly happy-go-lucky franchise, full of friendship, adorable creatures, and a ton of smiles. But that doesn't mean that Pokemon can't occasionally flip the coin and force you to experience incredible sadness either. Just the other day, I opened a pack of the new Breakthrough Pokemon trading card game set, and I saw something that was a breakthrough all right. A break through my heart? It got me thinking. With the hundreds of artists adding strange and unique styles to Pokemon on cards over the years, what other heartbreakers are available through the Pokemon card game? Today, we're going to take a brief look over 10 of the most surprisingly depressing card artworks throughout the Pokemon trading card game. Number 10. Misty's Tears. While definitely not that high on the depression meter when compared to some of the other cards that we'll explore today, it just seemed like common sense to include the card when someone is literally crying on it. Now yes, this is a card we've talked about before, from my old censored Pokemon cards video. Japan thought for some reason Misty's seemingly naked silhouette would make perfect sense for a Pokemon card. Other territories did not. Either way, something has clearly upset Misty quite a bit, and her bad day ends up with your collection of two water energy. Oh, that's clever. You're actually retrieving her tears. Huh. I wonder what got her so worked up. Somebody steal her bike again? Actually, I think there's a different card we'd use for that. Number 9. Double Gust. There's no denying it. Hoppip is one of the happiest, most carefree Pokémon out there. It's adorable, but not in Double Gust. Hoppip got called out, and as a result, looks more panicked and pathetic than we've ever seen it before. This Hoppip sure surrounds itself with some class friends. Hoot Hoot's all, take one of those two, and Sentret's trying the old fall asleep to avoid detection trick. I don't know, even when I was a kid playing this card, something didn't sit right about seeing this guy all of a sudden looking like this guy. Number 8. Vending Machine Series 2 Onyx. In the late 90s, there was a group of Japanese promotional cards that never saw international release. The Vending Machine sets. These cards were distributed in packets that contained three promos and one info card, and they were pretty cool. Cool except, you know, the most miserable Onyx card we've ever seen. Most Pokémon TCG art depicts Onyx as the proud, strong, 28-foot rock snake that it is. But the Vending Machine Onyx? Hiding miserably in a cave, fearful of the rain. That makes sense, I guess. The last time I saw Onyx take a shower, he definitely did not like it. Number 7. Sandstorm Lombre. Dude, Lombre is just so bummed. He's so sad he's barely facing the frame of the card. Hey Lombre, wanna join my deck and help me win the Pokemon card battle? I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling it today. I kind of just want to be by myself right now. You know what this Lombre needs? A Water Stone and some Mirror B. That would cheer him up. In fact, I'm pretty sure we could all use a little more Mirror B in our lives. Number 6. Diamond and Pearl Bonsley. Diamond and Pearl Bonsley is... Um, hmm. I'm sorry. I know this is supposed to be like one of those plant pot bottoms, but I have the mentality of a 10-year-old, and I'm gonna have a hard time with this one. Can we get a fix on this? Anyone? Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, Diamond of Pearl's Bonsley is just pathetic. The poor thing is toppled over, and it looks like the perfect example of I've fallen, and I can't get up! If you thought Misty's two tears were bad, check this out. Bonsley has doubled the tier production and pushed it up to four. And wait, fake tears? The attack? It looks as if it is always crying? It is actually adjusting its body fluid levels by eliminating excess? Gross. Whatever, Bonsley. I trusted you! I thought you were really sad! Oh, I'll give you something to be sad about, alright. Number 5. You know who else has something to be sad about? Legendary Treasures Natu. These poor little birds are huddled together in one of the saddest scenes I've ever seen on a Pokémon card. Tiny chicks in a blizzard, so cold and uncomfortable that they can barely open their eyes. Thanks to the illustrators, they even included little shake lines that you know that they're shivering. The only thing keeping this card from reaching even higher on the top of this list is the fact that Legendary Treasures Bouffalant exists providing a bit of a warmer end to our story. Pun intended. 
But you know what? Little Johnny over here opened one pack of legendary treasures, and he only opened the Natu. He never got to see that Bufalunk card because he died of sadness instantly. You happy, Pokemon? You have to live with this. Number four. Delta Species Drowsy. This Drowsy is so miserable, it's borderline comical. So not only is it sitting outside in the pouring rain, looking pretty down on itself, but if you look carefully, you can also catch Drowsy getting Isaac newton over here at the top. I don't know what the obsession is about Pokemon getting beaten up by apples, but I'm pretty sure this was the last straw. Why does Drowsy eat dreams? Probably because of all this. Heck, he's probably off to eat a dream right now. Right in that house over there. Number three. Aquapolis Wooper number 66. The reason I mention a number here is because there are more than one Wooper card in this set. The one you see right now is Aquapolis 117. I want you to let this image of Wooper sink deep into your head. Wooper's the kind of guy that smiles even when everybody else is having a terrible time. Maybe you've even seen the Wooper Looks Disappointed Dream World comic before. <laughs> it's funny because there's no way on earth that Wooper could look disappoint. Ed. Ugh. This just makes me sick to my stomach. No Wooper should ever look like this. It's going against everything I've ever been taught about Wooper mentality. They even made its little ears droop. I. Ugh. Oh, doctor, I'm gonna need some happy Wooper clips pronto. Yep, right here. Give them to me. Whew. Almost got me there. Number two. Legend Maker Ammonite. We've briefly talked about this card before in an old video, but it is just too sad not to revisit here. Ammonite sits in the foreground, with a single lonely tear welling up in its eye. Out in the background, you can find two more Ammonites seemingly having a great time together. Follow the dots of their bubbles, and you'll find a beautifully coordinated underwater heart between them. Man, that's just cold. I don't know if you were rejected by someone you loved, or maybe you're just lonely, but don't worry, Ammonite. There's other fish in the sea. I did not mean it like that. Number one! And last but not least is, of course, Cubone, one of the saddest Pokémon in existence. It's no secret in the Pokémon world, Cubone's mother is dead. Like, super dead. Like, Cubone is wearing its dead mother's skull level of dead. And we've also gotten some really sad artwork from Cubone in the trading card game already, particularly from Expedition. But the newest Cubone from Breakthrough finds a way to get you a first-class ticket to Despairville. Oh, come on! I get it. Cubone has a dead mom. Who suggested this art? Hey, you know how Cubone has a dead mom? What if we made a trading card of Cubone looking extra sad next to a mom and a child? That's just a low blow, guys. As far as I could tell, searching far and wide, this is the most depressing Pokémon trading card I can find to date. One of the most exciting things about Pokémon trading cards are seeing all the different art styles for the characters that you've known in the game. But it is interesting to see that every once in a while, you can find a Pokémon that looks just a little less cheery than you might have seen them before. Thanks for watching today's Top 10. If you want to catch more Pokémon Top 10 videos that I've done in the past, you can find a few that I've done right here. Also, if you want updates whenever a new video drops, you can click the subscribe button right here to get alerts when new videos come out. I'll catch you guys next time with more Nintendo content.